A 3D CT scanner is like a snapshot. A 4D CT scanner is like video. My name is uh, Dr. Sanjay Imandi, and I'm a board-certified radiation oncologist here at the uh, Lou and Jack Finney Cancer Center, part of Hunt Regional. I'm happy to be part of an organization, Texas Oncology Physicians, and we service and take care of about 50,000 cancer patients annually. Um, so that's about half or 50% of the patients that are treated in Texas for cancer care. When we do radiation therapy for our patients in radiation oncology, um, so much of what we do nowadays is based on image guidance. So we track a tumor and when we treat a patient, it's usually over, over a course of several weeks. Now that tumor, in certain cases, like if it's a lung tumor or a tumor in the abdomen, can move. So uh, one of the most important things nowadays is image-guided radiation therapy. 4D CT technology allows us to actually watch the tumor throughout the respiratory cycle. So then we can limit the amount of radiation given during a certain phase of the cycle or restrict the breathing and treat the tumor in a smaller volume of lung rather than a larger volume. So this technology would be uh, excellent here. We'd use it on uh, patients that have lung tumors, even left-sided breast cancer uh, because in the left side of breast cancer, we worry about uh, toxicity to the heart. So with the respiratory uh, gating and the ability to see the breast movement, we're able to see what phase is the best for delivering the radiation, you know, potentially when the heart is out of the field. The resolution is also much better than the three-dimensional CT scanner, and the reconstruction is much better. So for us doctors that are actually drawing the tumor volumes on the CAT scan, it, it, it's better for us to be able to identify the exact uh, shape of the tumor and how it interacts with the normal organs around it. If you would like to help bring this life-saving tool to Hunt Regional, support bras for the cause. Join us as a sponsor or vote for your favorite bra in downtown Greenville on Thursday, October 12th.